Adam. Wow. 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 Century arms. Century, Century arms. arms. We'll leave it at this. Yes. But Adam, what I'm holding in my hands, this is a 74 type rifle. Mm -hmm. What you guys are doing here? So this is obviously going to be what we want as the first all-American all made AK-74. It's something you've been screaming for, your viewers Absolutely. have been screaming for. Hey, the whole shooting community as a whole, they want that 545. So being that we are so involved in the AK community, we took it as a personal challenge to come out with this. So this is a prototype, but we're going to get into kind of what's going to go into the whole process of making the first All-American made AK-74. Let me start with the front end. Most complaints against Century, no cleaning rod, no bayonet rod. Are we really saying that the 74 from you will have the bayonet lock and the cleaning rod? 100%. What you see here, including that nitride finish, yeah. is going to be what's on there. You're hearing him, guys. There's no escape right now, Adam. It will have cleaning rod and the bayonet How lock. How many times over the years right. have you held me to this no escape clause? I know. Okay, but so that's happening. Absolutely. And then, of course, the 90 degrees block. I see the RPK Trujon yep. style on it, so that's probably going to end up like this. I, I mean, that's where we're at right now, okay. but as we're going to talk a little bit about the it whole Project 74, if, if we need to evolve it a little bit, we can. How about the furniture? Will that 74 take the So it's on, an AK, it's on our AKM platform, so it will be, there will be a lot of uh, universal ability to adapt common furniture that's out okay. there. Okay, and of course the side rail. Side rail, yeah, obviously that's another thing that's been a huge demand. And something that's really interesting to you is that internal in there, forged, bold, trunded. What about barrel? What we got on the barrel? Nitrided? Nitrided, the whole, yeah, nitrided, nitrided process. And what we really want to do is see how this holds up to the ridiculously efficient testing that somebody like you might do. We'll put it through the paces, I promise you that. Uh, but I, I want to talk about more about the other upcoming models, if possible, because this one has the fixed stock and it's changed for the side folder. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and that's okay. something we know we've got to do. If you're going to have an AK-74, you've got to have these adaptability. And, and really, that's all going to come into, it's a great segue, this is, we're calling this Project 74. So Project 74 is obviously exactly what it is. And the only way to do this gun the right way and get it right the first time is to bring in the people that are so passionate about it. So we're going to call it the 545 Initiative. We're going to take five influencers and experts on the topic. We're going to bring them in. You're going to have direct insight. And if you're up for the task, you know, we're going to have you as one of them that's actually going to have direct insight on how this goes. I, I will volunteer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are your volunteer's tribute, uh, right? Yeah. Well, is it possible too that you're going to draw like randomly uh, our viewers? So that's that. So and there, there's the four. Okay. There's the four. So the five is going to be influencers and experts. There you go, guys, always there's fighting for you. Four. There's going to be four. We're going to have a contest where we're literally going to select four people that have never been a reviewer, never done action, but are just genuinely passionate about this project. We're actually going to bring you in. We're going to get you guns. We're going to have you documented, and we're going to make this gun best. And then the last five is going to be five customer selected torture tests that matter to truly test the different dynamics of the weapon. Now, Adam, I'll throw the curveball to you because there was some past when we had some issues, not with you, but with trans lack of transparency on the century part. Right. Can I have your commitment to the to the changing the way of how the things are done and being more transparent about what's going on and open to feedback? Well, you know, I think that's the most important thing in the community nowadays, especially when you're coming out with projects that are so important, but it really, we're blazing the trail. I think the only way to do that and to have people invest their hard-earned money and, let's be honest, sometimes their life into a, a, a firearm is for them to know what went into making that sure that project is 100% reliable and 100% um, dependable. So the only way to do that is the transparency. We're changing the narrative of, you know, what is an all-American made AK. We're changing that narrative and we're going to do it with the help of people like you and the help of like the viewers out there to truly make this gun something everybody can be proud of. This is this is definitely uh, makes my heart happy, uh, and, and we'll go from there. Yeah. yeah I, um, look, I had my own issues with Century, but I'm I'm open towards the, the the whole project because I think this rifle deserves the love. It does. And and that's the way to go. Now that being said, I'm extremely happy about seeing progress on the American front. But what about the imports? Can you 
tell me that there will be a steady flow of PSL rifles coming in. Cougar from Romania, Wassers, all that good stuff. So, you know, I would never obviously give you any information that wasn't 100% accurate. With political environments the way they are right now, with military contracts that some of these major manufacturers over there are, are getting now, it is becoming a little tougher to get the volume that the American consumer would, would like to have. And with that, obviously, when the, price, when the volume goes down, our cost over there gets higher. Um, we are fighting for it. Obviously, Century's been the largest importer of this style of firearm for many years, and we're going to continue to be. The, the reality is, though, that if, if it's a, a firearm you like, that is an import, and that's that you're passing, whether it be a Wasser or a Draco or a PSL, you need to get it. I mean, to be honest with you, we're going to continue to get them. We're going to continue to have import, but it's not going to be right now. It's not going to be at the point where everybody can just go to every store and get it. So that could change. That could change tomorrow. But right now it is a little tougher. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. It is a little tougher, but we're still going to have them. They're still going to be as dependable as ever. They're still coming off the same lines, but it speaks volumes of what these firearms are too. Not only are they good for the civilian market, but there's countries all over the world that depend on these to, you know, to arm their soldiers. Yeah, absolutely. The PSL 54 is still in service in many, many militaries across it's the world. It's the way. This is the this way. Is, this is, this the, is way. the way. This is the way. But to your best knowledge, at least at this point, they will be still coming. They're still coming they're, in. They're, they're, we they did. may not be in big numbers, but they're still coming in. You'll still be able to get them. You may have to work a little harder to find an e-retailer e or, or a brick-and-mortar store that has them, mm -hmm. but we're going to have them. And obviously, I'll keep you up to date as to where they are so you can let your, uh, your viewers know the best way to find them. I will take a word for it. Absolutely. Pivoting back to the U.S. market, we talked briefly about the 74 type. What about the different calibers? So, yeah, so we're going to have, obviously, uh, Red Army Standard is bringing in, you know, a, a number of calibers now from 54R to even, uh, you know, 223. The calibers, we found, obviously, there's some unique boutique opportunities, but 7.62 by 39 is still king, yeah, you know, and it is. And, and with that, when the Dracos get harder to find, some of the the wassers the american made ak has to be important now because and otherwise the market's going to dry up as they become more popular again and the imports become less we've got to find options we got to find and there's some companies out there other than just centuries that are making fantastic guns and i would never by any means knock that but we want to be able to have that kind of gun as well so the dracos the the, the pistol versions we're now going to be making a visca mini and a visca micro oh, okay so those are going to be some opportunities what will be the timetable on those those are our in the next couple of months. Next couple of months? Yeah, so... So the, much, much sooner than we'll see the 74. Well, we, we you know, I think, and in, in as much as you, and I've seen some of your old videos where you, you hated to admit, you hated to admit that the Visca was good, mm -hmm. it was good. You know, and, and so we know we've got that project a little bit more under under wraps so we can move, escalate that, that process a little faster. Now, take talk to me, any chance we'll see a 556 AK from Century Arms? So, that'd be like a Wasser 3? That's my question for the internet. We, so when you guys created a shockwaves, absolutely shockwaves on the internet, and everyone is rooting for that Wasser in 556 by 45, but then that balloon kind of deflated. So what happened? To so it's still out there, and it's still. I mean, it's the same project though. If, if we were to do that here in America, I don't think it would have out the gate. I don't think it would have quite the same charm. It wouldn't have quite the same sizzle. So what we're doing is we're working with these same factories because you got to remember at that point they have to change the line. Sure. They have to change the line to do that. So it is. It is. It is happening. Um, we, being that it is a little bit of a more sensitive, as I'm sure you guys and your viewers are aware. Um, I can't speak to it much. But that is still happening, and we will have it. Could you at least give us a basic idea on the timetable? I, I say, so obviously you and I have had these conversations before about things, and I'd rather under-promise than over-deliver. Let's just say this. Worst case. Give me the yeah. worst case. I, I would say this. You will have one in hand shooting before we talk at SHOT Show next year. All right, so it is still It is year. still. And uh, no, no, it's not necessarily a year, but what I want to do is you'll have one, we'll have some small quantities, and I'm not saying five, but sure. to say every user that's excited about it can have one by next SHOT Show, I don't know. Because, I mean, that's going to be a little tough to say. Because I'll tell you from feedback from uh, 
our viewers, everyone is interested. Oh, very much so. That was an absolutely right decision to go after after it and, and bring it back. Mm -hmm. And if that could happen, that, that would be fantastic. Uh, and, and Welcome. I, and I hope that this is going to actually pan out. Oh, well. You know, but any chance for completely US made 556 AK? Absolutely. Are you guys thinking the same? No, we way? are. We are. But the biggest thing that I've learned is you don't want to have too many plates spinning at one yeah, time. Yeah, let's get this done. I think, and I think, I think we'll learn a lot from that. Mm -hmm. That then we can translate into the 556 project as well. Awesome, Adam. I want to personally thank you. Uh, I said this to the other guys too, but it, it warms my heart that there's finally something going on on the on the AK market. Uh, because let's be honest, the lack of imports kind of put us in a bad spot. It did. But we are catching up, and and I, I I'm really grateful for what you guys are doing, for all what other guys are doing, and let's keep plowing forward. I mean, these are great great rifles the u.s public deserve they deserve the 545 and, and keep 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 the 545 by 39 legend alive but also keep bringing the ammo because like you talk to the ammo makers and they say well there's no guns for it so that's why we don't you know bring the ammo it's like catch 22 right everyone is chasing their own tail so i want to thank you for this keep the legend alive and we'll see what's going to happen thank you guys